approximately 10 to 20 percent of all patients with lupus develop their disease during childhood. And the children happen to have more severe disease than the adults with lupus in many cases. So children with lupus, especially those that have involvement of the kidney, need to take many medications, many of which are associated with significant side effects. And these side effects can be quite substantial for the growing child. For example, some of them can cause fertility problems down the road. Some of them can cause development of osteoporosis and increased risk of fracture. They certainly suppress their immune system and make them more susceptible to even normal childhood infections. Physicians treating lupus nephritis in children face many challenges, primarily because we don't have adequate information to tell us what is the best treatment. The research on childhood lupus nephritis has been quite limited to date, largely because of the small numbers of patients affected and the challenges with conducting traditional clinical trials in these patients. Historically, the way we determine best treatments for medical conditions is to do large, what we call randomized controlled trials, where we take two groups of patients that are very similar and we assign one group to one therapy, the other group to another therapy, and we monitor them over time in a very detailed fashion. That approach to studying therapies requires large numbers of patients and it's very expensive because they have to be monitored very closely. To date, we haven't been able to really do those kinds of studies to look at nephritis in children. So we've developed a new approach to determining the best treatment for lupus nephritis. And the new approach involves really taking advantage of all the patients who are treated for lupus nephritis because every patient has something to contribute in terms of information. The value of this particular study is that we will actually be able to learn what is the best treatment in children and not only what drugs work best, but also what have the least side effects. The future of children with lupus nephritis will be improved once we know the optimal therapy for them. Once we've identified what is the best drug that improves their quality of life, that improves the outcome of their nephritis, and that avoids toxicities that can be avoided. And that will allow them then to have a healthier life, to participate in all of the normal childhood activities with less consequences from their disease.